Well, News 8 is the oldest news station in San Diego. We've been around since 1949, and because of that, we have an extensive archive of stories from various neighborhoods. And for the next few weeks here, we're going to be highlighting some of those places by comparing what they were like decades ago to how they are now. And in today's story, Shannon Handy is taking us to North Park. If you search North Park on the internet, it's described as a trendy place where hipsters, young professionals, and students hang out. Locally owned shops, restaurants, and craft breweries line the streets. Cheers. Cheers. A far cry from the farmland it once was. I used to be sagebrush and a few orchards. Katherine Hahn is with the North Park Historical Society. She spent years studying the history here and can tell you everything about the architecture to those state named streets that appear to be out of order. They're not alphabetical. They are a crazy road trip. North Park, located north of Balboa Park, was one of the first subdivisions outside downtown, but it was difficult to get to. That is until 1907 when engineers found a way to allow streetcars in on University Avenue, making it a popular and accessible destination. So that was a hill and it was just a barrier to the streetcar coming, but they cut through that hill and they put a little bridge over Georgia Street so people on either side wouldn't be isolated. The changes seemed incredible then. But they still do, even today. News 8's Connie Healy stood on that bridge while profiling North Park in 1986. It's still there today, though those streetcars have since been replaced with buses. Other historical structures remain as well. One of the most iconic buildings in North Park is the Observatory, a live music venue. It was built in 1928 and was among one of the first theaters in San Diego to show movies with sound. After sitting vacant for years, it was restored in 2005 which helped revitalize the area. Around the same time, we got the North Park parking garage, and then other businesses start looking at the area and saying, hey, I think this is a really up-and-coming space. Maybe we should look at opening up here. People start buying more and more homes in the area. They start enrolling their children in the local schools. Angela Landsberg is executive director of North Park Main Street. That migration of people and businesses added to those who have been around for decades, many of them surviving a time when North Park's popularity declined as people moved to the suburbs and gravitated more towards malls. Take North Park Optometry. It's been here for 65 years. Around the corner, Burger Hardware has been around since 1912. That's University Avenue in 1908. Making it the oldest business in North Park. Not too many places have been around for 109 years, so it does feel good. Then there are those who didn't make it. The J.C. Penney on University Array is now a Target, and the Palisade Gardens roller skating rink at University in Utah became an apartment complex. But like many neighborhoods, turnover is nothing new here. As one door closes, another one opens. If I'm going to do a story in North Park, I have to try the beer, right? I would think so. Ruler Brewing opened a tasting room right next to the observatory just weeks ago. North Park is definitely a, a very vibrant community, densely populated, and there are craft beer fans everywhere here. Manager Sean Hale says he's optimistic about this new venture. Others who live and work here have high hopes as well, saying the future of North Park looks bright, all while embracing a past that will never be overshadowed. What makes North Park unique is the diversity, the mix between the old and the new. In the next year and a half, you can expect to see a median here on University with plants and flowers, a brand new park, and additional businesses coming in. Neighborhood enthusiasts say to keep this area going, people need to continue supporting those businesses.